All righty. What's going on, everybody? Uh, it's your boy, Chubb, again. And so there's been a lot of people who have been asking in my comments recently how, like, reflex mods work and how do you get custom bikes, custom tracks, this and that, yada, 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 and MX versus ATV reflex. And so since there's a lot of people asking about it, I figured I would just make a video real fast. I know there's tons of them out there, but it seems like a lot of people are finding my videos and they're asking on my videos how to mod. So I figured I would go ahead and show everybody that, make a little quick video on that. And uh, yeah, so let's get into it. First thing you're going to want to do if, well, okay, so most people are going to have a stock game, so that's not any issue. But if you're adding mods to your game that you already have modded, make sure that like your bike, your rider, everything is base. It's, it doesn't have any of the custom skins on it. Because if you add a skin and then go to change something when you have a custom skin, I don't know why, it's going to cause your game to crash. Um, so just go ahead and make sure that your game is just base stock whenever you go to add mods. But if you haven't added mods yet, this is how you're going to want to do it. And yeah, so what you're going to want to do, you're going gonna, gonna to want to fire up your old Google Chrome. And so you're going to want the DS19 uh, Bump Factory. You can Google DS19 Bump Factory, DS19 Reflex Mods. And then you're going to look for this link right here, ds19.eu. You're going to click on it. It's going to bring you to this probably, most likely. Click All Tracks and Skins. And then you're going to come down here. These are going to be all of your tracks and whatnot. Now, if you want... Okay, so to add tracks, you're going to add the... You're going to click get the beta thoughts you're going to add that you're going to save it you're going to open that and since i already have mine um uh, you know so here you go since a few people still quick explanation free red thoughts drag the four files into the database database folder like everything you're basically going to want to do is in the database so just once you download this okay <clears throat> so once you open this yeah, you're going to come into here and then just take all this stuff and drag it over into the database folder. There's a couple different ways you can get to the database folder. If you know where it is in your PC, like through your file explorer, go ahead and do it that way. But the easiest way I know how to do it is to open your Steam, go to Reflex, right-click it, go down to Manage, Browse Local Files, and then boom, here it is. So... Uh, like I said, you're gonna want to you're gonna gonna want to drag all of these. So like MX tables, DLC, TD. We'll go down here and just show you that it, I already have mine in here. MX table, DLC underscore TD. So yeah, see how <clears throat> see how it has all these. These are all the beta slots and whatnot. So that way you'll actually be able to add tracks and stuff into the game. That's how that looks. Damn, I just closed that. So, either way, we close it all. Keep your Steam open. You're going to want it. So, so say you want a custom track or a custom bike. You're going to click on this. And then, so I delete This is the bike that I use all the time. I deleted it so I can actually show you all how to do this. You're going to click download on it. Save it. It'll pop, it'll pop up your thing right here. You're going to open that file. My... Uh, PC automatically unzips basically everything, so you may need a like WinRAR or 7-Zip or something like that. I forget which one I use, but it automatically unzips everything for me. Like, I don't have to unzip files and whatnot. And again, you're going to come over here, right-click, manage, browse local files, and you're going to want to be in the database. You're going to click open the database, and you're going you're gonna to drag that over to your other side of the screen so you can do your double thing. Now, super easy, super, super easy from here. Left click, highlight everything, and drag everything over into your database. Boom, throws it all in there. Now, we'll go over here, play, launch it. And so, like, there's an there's a intro uh, skip, so you can skip intros and whatnot. I'll show you all where that goes in a second. So you're going to start Moto Career, go into your garage. I don't know why. It's going to give me my 250 again. So there's that. Now, <clears throat> like I had said, 
the actually I don't know of it. It's it. So this okay, yeah. So this the 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 Chase Sexton bike is not actually a Honda in this game. It's the Dakimoto, the Kawasaki version of it. So you would click into it, it'd be in your graphics kit. So say you're just running a base model, say you're running the Geico graphics. So say you have the Geico graphics, you'd come into here, you'd go to the one that's newest. It looks like a DLC. Boom. HRC Honda Sock. Boom. So that's how you ease that's how you add bike skins into it and whatnot. You can't actually get like custom bikes. Like you can, but you can't. So just keep that in mind that like you can't like the way you can add custom bikes into stuff like in MX bikes, you can't exactly do that in this game. You can just skin other bikes. So on your rider, say you want the seven gear, which I already have the seven gear. Same thing. You're going to you're going to come here. Um, you can search everything so you can click all tracks and skins. You can search it, seven gear, just search up seven, and boom, so you get your seven gear, there's seven bike, enjoy seven, I'm pretty sure, yeah, I forget which, I forget which seven gear, maybe I have the seven 2017 stuff, maybe, who knows, I can't exactly remember, but I will go ahead, let's go ahead, is there any fast house gear, hold on, let's see if there's any fast house gear. All right, so there's some Fast House TLD gear. So let's go ahead and download the Fast House TLD gear. Save it. Done. So same thing as you did earlier. You're going to open that file. You're going to double click on it here. Boom. Um, hmm. We'll see. I might have already, I might already have something and the D and so that's also the thing. So like, um, just a little bit ago, I wanted to just do a test real fast on one of the skins and whatnot. And so again, go into your database folder. Everything's going to be in your database. Like the database is like everything that is in this game. So that's some fast house patriotic here. You're going to left click, drag it all and boom over there. Okay, so here's where I'm not going to be able to actually use this gear. So just say that it happened. So just say that stuff moved over there. The reason, so the reason I won't be able to do that is because if I were trying to do that, it'd make the game crash because it'd be trying to pull different files from different areas or different... It'd be trying to pull the same files from the same area that are different files. So that's why it would end up breaking it and whatnot. But you'd say you put your gear in there. I've tried to use like some Fox gears and whatnot. For some reason, like some Fox gears and stuff that I use, um, they don't work. So again, you'd then come into here, you'd moto career, hit your garage go to your rider and then in your gear it would be somewhere in here it'd be somewhere in this so on for me i wanted the seven gear i put the seven gear in here i want this and the soldier pink stuff helmet we're gonna go to the seven helmet and boom there's a seven helmet <clears throat> so This is the one you're going to want the most because, yeah, you can like the skins and stuff are cool for the bikes and whatnot. But like I said, you're going to want you're going to want to get this. At least you're going to want to get the custom reflex file. So you're going to download that open same place. So like I said, you're, you're going to drag all that stuff into your database folder. We already gone over and then. So. And this is. It gets kind of. It's kind of crazy sometimes. So let's see what this ends up downloading as. So we'll download this just for fun. Boom. We're going to download it. It'll take its little thing. It'll take its time. I have terrible internet, so just let it do its thing. It's done. We're going to open that up. Now, the Red Bull Straight Rhythm. 
is going to be a supercross track. So I don't think I have anything in the beta SX track slot one. So go back to your database. So take all of this. Let's see. I'll run up here to beta SX tracks. Beta SX. Okay, I do have something in slot one. So I don't exactly remember what track this is, but we're going to delete all that. Delete it. Boom. We're going to take this stuff. We're going to highlight it. We're going to come over here. Boom. It's in the game now. So we're going to close out of all that stuff. Minimize this. Come back over here. Play. Launch. Launch play. Whichever one. And that's, you're going to want to remember, like, it, so it's not actually going to show up in your game as straight rhythm or whatnot. You're going to come over here to arcade. You're going to run over to supercross. You're going to pick whichever class bike, whatever you want. And then, so see these beta slots. So these are how you're going to play those. So again, it's not going to show whatever track you're going to have to pay attention to the beta slot one beta slot six beta slot whatever because that's how you play those custom tracks so that one was beta slot one so we're going to come over here we're going to find supercross beta slot one I don't exactly know how it's going to run laps on this but then you're going to click on that oh man my fucking begin your event <clears throat> now uh now, I was just going to say that sometimes the things don't work. So I'm not entirely sure why that didn't just work, but we it didn't work. So let's try this one. We'll download this. Open that file. Beta track slot one. So let's just see. Actually, hold up. What? Hold up. 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 So we're gonna go here. We're gonna manage. Browse local files. Database again. Like I said, everything goes in the database folder basically. Um, beta slot. Beta slot. Beta slot. Beta slot. Beta slot. So yeah, beta track slot one. Don't have one in there. So it should be right there. See, all of these are all like custom tracks that I've added to the game and whatnot. So they're somewhere in there. If this one doesn't show work right, again, this is how you get them in there. Sometimes the files just don't work. I don't know why. I'm not that much of a guru when it comes to this stuff. I just know that uh, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Beta track. Beta track. track. That's just a free ride track, right? We'll see. Go back to arcade. Free ride. Linux. Takamoto. Beta slot one. Begin the event. Okay, yeah, here we go. So that one worked perfect. Uh, it's an arena cross track. But yeah, that's how you end up with, like I said, that's how you get the custom tracks into the game. There's a chance I'm running this shit backwards, isn't there? Nope, I'm not. What a step on, what a step off. So yeah, this is just a little base arena cross track that... Ooh, 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 got some huckabuck through the whoops. Yeah, that's it. Just a little, little base arena cross track that I downloaded to show y'all. Here it is. This is, and again, so again, you're gonna want to pay attention to whether it's in beta slot one, beta slot two, beta MX track, beta national track. That's gonna be where the game, the track is located in the game. So, like I said, some of those national tracks. I think I had one on number six. Check beta track. I know we had one on eight. No, we didn't. We didn't have one on eight. So again, oh yeah, we did. What is this? What is this track? Oh, this is Millville. So yeah, here's Millville. So you wanted to download Millville. You downloaded Millville. Beta slot 8 is what it was. And here's Millville in MX.
Max of those is AD reflex. So yeah, there's that. Now... Now, um, for the last thing I'm going to show y'all, the intro skip. So download the DS19 intro skip, you'll save it. This is the only one that doesn't go in your database folder. This is the only thing that doesn't go into the database folder. It show it says right here to read me. Unzip it, blah blah blah, yada yada. It goes in your reflex videos folder. So again, you're gonna come over to your Steam, you're gonna open it, right click, manage, browse local files, your videos. Boom. Close that. You're going to take these four. See them right here? The attack, blah, 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 yada, yada. You're going to take those. You're going to split right there. I'll replace it since they're already there. And then that'll get, that's going to delete the intro. Like you'll just load up the game and you'll be in there. You won't have to go through all the intros and whatnot, the like Rainbow Studio intro and all that stuff. So that's how you do that. Um, and yeah. That's basically the the ins and outs of how to like mod the thing. So, and again, so if you're having trouble with a lot of these, there is going to be a readme that tells you where to put all this stuff. So, yeah. Um, if you are running into troubles and whatnot, then look for the readme folder and it's going to kind of talk you through how to get to everything. Again, like I said, most everything you're going to do in your reflex when you're modding it is going to be in the database folder. Um, all the national, all the beta national tracks, everything like that's going to be in this folder right here for the most part. Um, I have not yet found anything besides the intro skip that I have to put into the any other folders. Now, there is a first person camera mod on uh yeah, first person camera mod. <laughs> That's going to go in and I don't have it downloaded, so here, I'll show y'all that real fast. So, MX camera. You're just going to take this one. And so, like I said, you're going to we're going to go back on that. We're going to go in cameras and boop. You're just going to take that. I actually do already have it. So, boom. There's your first current camera mod. So, that's the only thing that I know of that doesn't go in the database folder. Everything else, you're going to put it in your database folder. There may be some other, like places that you can download mods and stuff from i i use ds19 just because i it's it's trusted i know everything on there is pretty trusted it doesn't have any viruses or anything attached to it and uh yeah that's that so any other questions or whatnot if y'all need me to go over a very specific thing i can make another video on that but that's basically how you mod uh reflex and get all the tracks and stuff on there. Um, again, if you need, if, if you have like a very specific thing that you want me to talk about or show in the game, then I can do that. But again, most everything goes in your database folder. So um, yeah, have fun modding the game, guys. And I hope to see y'all out there. Uh, the online community is still there in this game. So hopefully it comes back. I know that I've been playing it a bunch lately. And it, again, I know that a bunch of my reflex videos have been getting a lot of traction here recently so i thank y'all for that a ton we're getting close to 500 subscribers so go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you're here you made it this far and yeah we'll see you in the next video guys